It was a morning rush hour police chase through residential streets and alleys, ending with a car hitting a home. Tonight, the two investigators show how the homeowner is now stuck with the repair bill and stuck fighting City Hall and the police for answers about exactly who caused all of her damage. Dave Savini has this original report. It went airborne. Okay. And then that's when it hit there and hit there and then land it right here. A high speed Chicago police chase after a stolen vehicle ends with it crashing to Del Marie Cobb's apartment building on South King Drive. So police are chasing the suspect down this alley here. It took out this fence. Right. And then also damaged her back porch and its concrete supports for the three story structure, causing an estimated $20,000 in damage to her property. They pursued a car into your yard. And they could have easily hurt someone. It could have been more than just a fence and a porch taken out. It could have been another life taken out. Cobb, the building owner, says she was never contacted by police. So they had your name, they had your number, they knew you were the owner of the building, and they didn't call you? No, no one called me. Cobb says when police had her car towed away, it was dragged across her lawn, over her stone water garden, destroying that, and through this fence, causing even more damage. She says police who were supposed to be in control of the scene shouldn't have allowed the extra damage to occur, and she blames them for not asking for a key. But all they had to do was ask for the key to this exactly. double fence, this service gate, and they could have taken the car out without causing any damage. Right. This opens up large enough that the tow truck could have pulled that car out. Cobb came to the two investigators because she says for the last year, the city refused to give her any details involving the crash or tell her who the tow truck company was. All she got was a denial letter from the city saying it must, quote, decline any claim resulting from the crash. So you're upset. Oh, I'm very upset because well, I'm not asking the city every day to do something for me. I actually contribute to the city. And when the city does something wrong, it should be just as willing to contribute to me. Her insurance would only cover half the cost and not the damage to the yard or fence. So she feels the city should have to pay the other half along with her $2,500 deductible. It shouldn't be on me to come up with $9,000 to replace my fence when I am not the reason the fence is damaged. Dave Savini, CBS2 Investigators. A spokesperson for the CPD says the claim was properly denied because the damage was caused by the fleeing offender and not the Chicago police who were properly enforcing the law. It should be noted that Cobb is also a delegate and has appeared on CBS2 in the past as a political expert and former Illinois press secretary for the Clinton campaign.